Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shauna. I have five kids. I'm currently homeschooling two of them. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what we are using for our second grade curriculum. Now, uh, I am going to be taking a little bit of a break from the curriculum reviews that I have coming up for you guys. I'm going to be resuming them next week. So today I'm going to be sharing what I am using for my second grader. Wednesday I'll be sharing what I'm using for my sixth grader. And then Friday I will have a fun resource that I will be using for my three-year-old during homeschool. Now uh, you might hear some, some movement over here. The baby is playing and she is having a ball with all of the books. Now uh, to start, what I am using for my second grader for reading is going to be all about reading level two. She used level one this past year and she blew through it. She did such a great job and she really grew in her reading skills and I absolutely loved this curriculum. I'm gonna pick her up. Now, I will say that the only downside to this curriculum is there is a lot of prep work and prep work that has taken me a long time to do. Now, if you wanna see how I have prepped our All About Reading curriculum, I'll link a video that I have up here, um, just detailing how I not only prep it, but how I preserve it for my smaller kids because I this is an expensive curriculum and I do wanna make sure that even if my kids get a little rough with it or it falls out of the binder that the pieces don't get damaged because there are quite a few of them. And so um, some people have liked that idea and some people haven't, but it is what it is. It's what has worked for us and I am glad that I have prepped it the way that I do. Um, it is very detailed and it does take a little longer than the traditional prep, but um, if you have multiple kids that you plan on using it for and you would like to resell it later on, I think that it is one of the better ways to prep it. Um, what I do is I laminate all of the pages. I know that some people have said, you know, oh, that's such a waste. To me, it's not just because it has allowed my kids to be kids and if they get a little rough with it, you know, I don't have to worry about it getting ripped and then stressing out and having to try to put it back together or anything like that. Um, so I enjoy prepping it that way. Now for grammar, she is going to be using Evan Moore's Skill Sharpener Grade 2 for grammar and punctuation. I already have a review out for this. I will try to remember to link it down below in the description bar. If I forget and you want to see the review on it, just let me know in the comments and I will post that. But this is very quick, straight, to the point. It is not anything that is like dressed up and over the top that's gonna take a long time. I'm assuming this is gonna take her about maybe 10 minutes, if that. Now, I do plan on picking up another Evan Moore. <laughs> Uh, workbook for her on grammar and punctuation just because I don't think that's gonna take her all year long I believe it is like a 15 week program so um, basically around Christmas time she'll need a new one if not a little sooner than that now for our spelling curriculum we are going to be using spelling connections and a the thing that I like about this one is there's no fluff. It's straight to the point. The lessons seem like they will be, um, you know, fairly quick, but it will give her a good grasp on spelling and just all of the things that she needs to master in this area this year. <laughs> now for writing, you guys, I am so excited this year for her for writing. So is the baby because she is just being very vocal. Uh, we are going to be using IEW's Bible Heroes. I cannot wait to do this. I have wanted to do it basically since the minute I saw it. And when she said that she would be interested in doing this one this year, I was like, yes, I am so excited. So we started using IEW last year and, um, and it was such a blessing for my son. It made writing enjoyable for him. It made it bearable for him. Some kids, you know, they just don't like writing and my son has struggled. So sometimes, you know, we've had curriculums that he has absolutely loved and sometimes we have had ones that he has absolutely not loved and IEW was one that he so completely loved. So I'm hoping that this will translate the same way for my daughter and that she will just love it and have a fondness for it. And I think doing Bible Heroes is gonna be so great to do with her. 
All right, the baby is getting a little crazy, so I gave her to my husband. <laughs> now, moving on to math. So we are actually going to be using two curriculums for math. Now, our main curriculum is going to be Apologia Math 2. I cannot wait to use this. Um, I'm so excited to dive into it. It looks wonderful. It looks you guys, I like straight and to the point. Now, I know that there are games and additional activities in this. I can't promise that we're going to follow this curriculum completely because we are busy and I don't want to feel overwhelmed or burdened by trying to plan one more thing. However, this does look great. It looks straight to the point, um, simple enough while also allowing her to learn all of the big concepts that a second grader needs to know for math. I like that it seems to have everything worked in that our math last year was really missing. And so um, I'm really excited to use this. I think it's gonna be wonderful for her. Now, um, as far as the second math curriculum, we are only gonna use this if I feel like she needs a little extra practice, a little extra refining. And so for like our extra math curriculum, we are going to be using master books math level two um, I do see her using this a few times a week but my goal is not to overwhelm her with math it's just to prepare her so if I feel like she needs a little additional practice from what she's getting from Apologia I will pull out master books and just kind of navigate and see what she likes more and what is kind of just sticking a little bit better I really want this year to be a year of really great preparation for her because I know next year the math curriculums are going to start working in multiplication and division and I really want to prepare her well for that kind of thing. Now um, that's all of her core curriculum. As far as history goes, we are going to be doing that as a family subject and so we are going to be using Mystery of History. Um, I have a full review that is very detailed. I will link that down below or up here in case you would like to see inside and see if this is a curriculum that you want to use for yourself. But I think it's going to be really good. It seems fun. They have a whole bunch of activities and some games and just creating a timeline and things and it looks really amazing and I I think this is going to be really great. Uh, a few years ago she had requested to learn Bible history and so I did get volume one creation to the resurrection and so I think she's going to really enjoy this one. Now as far as our next group subject we are going to be using a few kits from Homeschool Tools. Now, this one is their Crime Scene Investigation Kit. It is literally like no bells and whistles. It is not fancy or anything like that. You open it up and it just, it basically has the supplies and then a teacher's guide. And so this has about seven experiments in it. Um, and what you are doing is you are making, so this is the mystery of the disappearing diamonds. And so you're basically making your way through solving a crime in these seven um, experiments that it gives you. And so I thought that that would be fun, something that's fun and low key and does not require a lot of prep work from me. And then, I did get them a phlebotomy kit. I'm so excited about that kit, you guys. I am going to work that into one of my reviews. I don't know when that would be coming up, but it gives you a fake arm, and I am so excited. I am such a science nerd, and I'm so excited to do that kit. I haven't even pulled it out to look at it yet, but it basically teaches your kids phlebotomy and how to draw blood. And one of my kids gets routine blood work and there's always a lot of anxiety and just that built up my fear of getting poked. And so I feel like, you know, being the one to do the poking and just learning about it in depth will really help that child overcome their fear. Now, as we get through some of the summer, I do plan on sitting down and making it a priority to create some of the science unit studies that I have wanted to since last summer and I just haven't had time for it. So when I do, I will do a full video on that and show you guys what we are going to be doing. Uh, now, the last few things that we are going to be doing as a group subjects 
And we are not going to be doing this every day. A few of these are going to be done as our morning basket. And then a few of them will just be done a few times during the week. So, all right, you guys, I had to go get the baby because she was ready for a nap, but she only wanted mama. <laughs> so um, for our last group subject, we will be using Bible Road Trip from Thinking Kids Press. It's by Danica Cooley. This seems like an amazing curriculum. I heard about it not this past summer for um, at the convention, but at the one from last year, and I have been eyeing it all year long. It seems completely amazing. Um, this one is the notebooking journal, and so this is where kids can do some copy work on the scripture. It will help with memorization. I think there's too much light coming through for you guys to like fully see the page. There you go. And they can write prayers for other countries. They can draw things. And it seems like it's going to be really great, really in depth. Again, with that, I don't know if we'll do all of the activities, but I like that it has ideas on activities and crafts to do, extra books to read, videos to watch and things like that because um, I think that you know having ideas on how to really help your kids absorb the content is a blessing even if you decide to not use it just because of the season that you're in. Um, I'm going to open this real quick just to give you guys somewhat of an idea of what they'll learn. So this is kind of what the lesson will look like. It gives you different ideas on um, what additional books to read, um, scripture to memorize, uh, craft projects to do that pair with the scripture that you're learning about for that week, um, praying for other countries, uh, what videos you can work in and watch, and then what your child will do in their specific notebook. Now, um, I really like this because it's geared for kids through, from preschool all the way to 12th grade, so it's a perfect family curriculum, and I'm really excited about this. Um, I will have a review and flip through on this curriculum coming out for you guys next week. Uh, I think it's going to be really good. I Hopefully, by God's grace, it'll be really good. Now, the other remaining items that we are going to be learning this year is not anything that I'm going to be using every day. It is some stuff that I introduced you guys to last year when I did my first grade curriculum picks. Uh, if you guys saw that and you've stuck with us throughout the year, you know that this year was just crazy. We didn't get to use a lot of what I had purchased and planned for. And so we are going to be using it this year now that life has calmed down a bit and things aren't as chaotic. <laughs> so uh, the first thing that we are going to be using, and we're going to be using this in our morning basket, is poetry memorization from IEW. This seems like a wonderful curriculum. You get, your child will get different poems to master, hopefully you can see that with the light, um, to master and memorize. And it just, you know, anything from IEW, guys, I just, I love it. I adore it. I mean, look at how fancy the, the case is that the CDs come in. You guys, they deal in nothing but quality and I love it. So some of the next items that we're going to be doing just for fun is uh, we will be learning about homeopathy. Again, this I don't think this is going to go in our morning basket, but it is going to be something that we touch on maybe once a week. Um, just something fun that the kids can learn natural remedies with. I've shown you guys this book a few times. I'm not going to dive into it too much. Uh, the next thing is I did purchase an herbal course so they can learn about herbs, what's safe, what's not safe how you utilize the herbs just to help you heal and things like that. And so I have a similar book for that. And then this is the book that came with um, the, purchasing the online herbal course. And I will try to link these books down below as well in case anybody is interested in checking them out. I will also link the curriculum in the description bar in case you want to check it out. The last thing that we will be utilizing, and this will be more part of our morning basket, but also just consistently throughout the week is uh, laying down the rails. I had such huge plans to start this for the last year and the year just got away from me with how crazy things kind of unfolded with having the baby and moving. Um, 
but this, if you are not familiar with it, it is a character development curriculum. Um, it works on virtues and just training your children up in the character traits that you wish them to have as well as yourself. And so if you want to see an in-depth review on this, I will link that above right here and I will try to remember to put it down below in the description bar. But this seems really great. It is kind of like a long haul process. You work on each character trait for about six weeks. So while it's nothing that you have a huge focus on each day that takes a lot of time, it will require you as the parent to be very consistent in training them for different character traits that you wish to work on and see them progress in. So we are going to be utilizing that. I will try to have some videos coming up on like a plan with me for what character traits we're going to be working on what resources we're going to be utilizing for those so that is everything that we're going to be using for our second grade curriculum if you already have yours picked out let me know what you are using down below in the comments if you are still trying to pinpoint what you were going to be using or maybe you changed your mind at the last minute and you're like, I'm ditching this curriculum. I haven't even opened it yet. Let me know that too. I would love to hear if you found this video helpful. Uh, I will have our sixth grade curriculum picks coming up on Wednesday. And then like I mentioned, a fun toddler resource on Friday. So make sure that you check those out. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I will see you again later. Bye.